Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back. Welcome back to RimWorld mod that we are playing the one man army thingy that we are doing over here. It's fun, it's good, we are killing everything. Most of the things at least. I'm having fun. Hopefully you guys are having fun as well. This is the uranium that I'm needing in the other uh, series. <laughs> but it's here. Now I know where... Who stole it from me and where it is. Good, good, good. This can be your bedroom if you need it, buddy. Nothing in here, nothing in here. Let's go check things out. And by nothing, I mean their stuff, but nothing like really major that I would require. There's, how do these people have titanium beds? That's just beyond me. <laughs> like seriously, those are tribals. How do they have... How do they have freaking titanium beds and titanium tables and... I don't know. Granite. Okay, granite is fine. Mm, steel? Yeah. Marble is fine. Plasteel and titanium. Seriously. And they have Alpha Poly over here. You know what? We can say, hey, they went and they stole it from someone. They raided someone and they stole it from them. So yeah, that's understandable. That's how they would get it. <clears throat> it's okay. I trust. I trust you. That's what you did. Anyway, Steve, we should go on. We should go onwards. We have some pirates to take care of. Let's reform the caravan. Uh, let's not take any pigman's meat. I can take some pemmican. Accept. And uh, let's raid those dudes. Attack the hornet tree. And our next things are going to be over here. The green meerkat sea, sea token. And then the 9th infantry division. Camp Taylor. Let's go. So, Steve, you're gonna stop. Oh, well, he would stop resting if I didn't actually pause the game. That that <laughs> that might happen. Oh boy. Let's go. Come on, it's like six in the morning. It's time for you to wake up and go. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Now I have to admit, this is the first time I play RimWorld with just one colonist for so long like I've played the rich explorer and uh, mortar okay I played the rich explorer and uh, but that one you know you get people soon joining you so uh, you're not alone for too long and uh, if you remember if you were with me uh, the last series I played in like alpha 16 was two people only so anyone who joined you know got got destroyed got killed got abandoned or whatever used as cannon fodder only used two people that was that was lots of fun in the end like our whole base got burned down because I did not use any fire foam poppers and when our uh, when the fire started in the fridge I just just couldn't do anything about it right so <laughs> everything burned down but it's just like 30 episodes and we could we could uh, regroup and stuff we could have but uh, at that point, uh, Alpha 17 actually started, so uh, yeah, that was fine. That was before before many people actually watched RimWorld on my uh, channel. I mean, I had some I had some views on RimWorld, but less, way less than I have now. Like most of my views right now are from RimWorld. Like I don't know exactly how much percentage-wise, but all the money I make from YouTube, which is which is not much, but whatever I make, like pretty much everything's from YouTube, um, <laughs> not from YouTube, but from uh, RimWorld, right? Uh, the other videos like hardly get me anything. It's, that's, you know, because the videos are longer, the longer the video goes, the actually more money you can make. And um, my RimWorld videos are 30 minutes long, while the rest are only like 20. Oh, Edge, you have the edge on me there, huh? Well, about that, what if I told you that I can move and you are not gonna get me? You can't get me, buddy. It's kind of annoying this bastard to have snipers. But you know what? I can snipe them as well. <clears throat> Someone said that uh, maybe the other, the gun that Tolson has in my other series would be better because it has way, way huger range, right? But the reason why this one is actually better is the faster shooting speed. Now what I have to do right now is just don't let these dudes 
get every single jump on me. They're cutting all the corners. Dude, you don't know what are you wearing? Oh, that's the harpoon gun. Also, it's the, one of the polys, so uh, that might be bad. Yeah, got you now, got you. Let's not actually got sh shot by that thing. It's, that's actually not. You know what, you guys? Kind of annoying with all of your range stuff. Plenty of you has the range. And uh, I'm just trying to, I don't know, survive over here. Just kill one dude. Maybe even if you get shot a couple of times, that's fine. Let's get your ass over here. Let's wait for them to come. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're just hunting me through the forest now. And every couple of minutes, one of you dies. Yeah, what about that? Are you not? Oh, what are you wearing? Oh, camel hair parka, of course. That's why you're not cold. That's why you wouldn't be cold. Vladimir, yeah, that was uh, the worst mistake of your life. That parka is not going to protect you when I come. Oh, fleeing, huh? Is that it? That's how far we came? You're going to flee? Well, that didn't end up well for you, did it? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's go. <laughs> Stop shooting Vladimir. <laughs> Leave Vladimir alone, buddy. Just shoot Andy. Shoot Gizmo. Shoot boss. You're not the boss of me. Oh, right then. Oh, there's one more fleeing. Here. Nope. You tried to flee. Didn't quite work for you, buddy. Let's go see what you have in your base. Oh, there's still this dude here. What's wrong with you? Why did you not come after me, Esparja? Are you like non-violent? No, you have EMP grenade launcher. I guess that's useless against me, but still. Outpost destroyed. Let's actually go. So, steel turret down here. What do we have? Beta poly, plus steel, alpha poly. So those two will have to be destroyed in another way. But this one over here can just be dusted like this. It might take a while because, oh, or maybe not. Thought it might take a while because it's in a, such a place that it's hard to destroy. That's okay. Let's go in here, buddy. Nothing special. I can claim this and you can come sit here for a while. Take a while and sit here. I'm gonna fire this battery. This is the, the poly one. So we'd rather that one is out of power. Let's come down here. Oh, that's in range. But you didn't... Oh, you got the power from where? You connected down here, didn't you? Oh, you dick. And you even shot me. And the torso. I'm bleeding slightly. That's not too bad. No, don't go there. Just destroy this solar jenny. Ah, he got the sneaks on me. He got the sneaks on me, definitely. <coughs> Okay, let's destroy it. Come on. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. You can shoot faster. And... Oh, really? You shot me again, didn't you? Yeah, that, that's just out of range. God, God damn it. So close. <laughs> so close. But it's not being destroyed. Come on, speed up game. Speed up, we're not getting shot anymore. There you go, much better. 45% chance to shoot that. That didn't go so well. Okay, here is your range. Let's go over here. Dude, would you stop getting in range of the stupid turrets? We destroyed the battery. This turret is like crazy. Okay, what did you connect to? You connected down here. Hmm. It's annoying. Let's go back here. Go here, buddy. You don't need to shoot that shit. Seriously, stop. Look, you're getting shot because you're stupid, okay? You're getting... You got shot in the neck again. Are you kidding me right now? You got shot in the neck again. Please. No. Deconstruct this shit. Thank you. Okay, fine. You where are you going, buddy? Wouldn't you rather, like, take care of your health first than eating? I don't think eating is more important. Like, you got shot in the neck. 
everything you're gonna, gonna eat is like gonna fall out of your what is he doing go treat yourself no I don't understand this bullshit I really don't I don't understand why he doesn't treat himself it's stupid destroy this stupid wooden wall let's get your ass over here there must be like a I don't know where it is but fire this where's the power conduit where are you connected to it's here fire this fire this stupid power conduit I don't know what you're gonna do now you're gonna rest I don't know what to tell you buddy but you should definitely treat yourself He's, he's not trying to treat himself again. It's apparently the rest is higher priority than doctoring. For some reason. It's because you're patient first? That must be. There's a nightling that I do not like at all. Because last time we met ni nightlings, that didn't go so well for us. We got more than just a neck bite. Oh well. Steve, once you're done. Once you're done, buddy, you can go onwards. Very ugly environment, terror to peril. But at least you killed someone. Witness death with bloodlust. Okay. Also tons of joy, apparently. You got shot in your cybernetic kidney. Twice in the torso. And of course in the neck again. I don't know what to use to actually protect his neck. Because the, this nanosuit helmet does not protect him. I don't know. His nano suit is like bad already. Anyway, you're fine, buddy. Let's let's actually have you go up and leave this map. Because why not? For the caravan. Let's grab you know what? Let's grab some fine meals now. You can well, one. It's better than nothing. We have a highway over here, don't we? Okay, the game is like really really annoying right now. Stop it. Stop it. Stag the Red Valley. Yeah, once. Yeah, when it's moving, it's like really, really freaking glitchy. Oh boy. You know, it's, that's that's all I can do right now. I'm sorry, but that's all I can do. Yeah, I can't do much more. I don't know. I think we might start moving towards the ship actually soon. The reason why I say that is. It's because. As you can see, the, the map travel is kind of crappy. While down here, everything is fine. Like, when we are on the individu individual place, plane of existence over here, it's things are fine. Right? But once we are traveling with the world map, it's kind of crazy. But as I said uh, in the previous episode, I might get a chance to get a way better computer soon. And that would mean that next week not this week but next week I could be already recording with a better computer now that is of course uh, if I can get it like it's it's uh, it has a very affordable price very affordable price but I still need to meet that price yeah you need to get enough to meet that price and as I said in the previous episode if you ever wanted to support me now is the time uh, but anyway, there's another problem that uh, that might appear or might not. I'm not yet sure because I'm gonna have a like vastly superior PC than what I have right now. If I get that one, right? Forget it. It's gonna be vastly superior. Then, thusly, uh, all of my recording is gonna be much like much much better. Everything is gonna be better quality. But with better quality comes bigger way bigger file sizes right and my uh, internet connection is still going to be the same still going to be the same crap as my PC right now is crap and so is my internet connection so that's gonna stay the same and if the file size is gonna get bigger I won't be able to upload as much as I am doing right now and that's not something I wanna I wanna do I don't wanna upload less still want to upload at least four videos per day because just because I like playing games right and uh, I feel like if I don't do that it's kind of bad so yeah 
Uh, hi there, guys. <laughs> the game crashed, and uh, this is the autosave. So I don't know exactly how much of the actual footage recording got cut, but I think some of the um, me clearing out the previous area got cut out. So I do apologize for that, uh, but there's nothing I can do. We're gonna go and attack those bad boys. Uh, come on, make it faster. We're gonna go attack these guys. I think the reason for the game crashing, and this is like the second time it happened, uh, not today, but uh, yesterday as well, is the the Forsaken's mod. That's the one. I think that's the one that's uh, making it happen. Uh, because it's still work in progress. Yeah, But the fact is, I can't remove it right now. Because we're already in. I can't remove that mod because I already got the map generated, right? And there's the faction bases, so I can't do that. Which is annoying, but uh, oh well, what what can I do, right? I don't know, uh, I think that that mod is like not agreeing with uh, some of the settings around here. This one does not have any power, I do like that. This one can't really get me on this side, so you know what, just come here. Come on this side. Mm, actually, yeah, yeah, let's go from this side. We can shoot Rosa. Why is the game slowed again? Come on. Oh, there's a bunch of this Timberwolf. Timberwolf thingies. Or, well, works is what I should say. Where's this guy going? Steve, go shoot that guy. Go shoot Rosa. Dude, you can do it. Let's go. Nice shot, son. Anyone trying to attack me? Doesn't appear so. Well. Let's do a bold invasion. I want to actually try this for once. Um, let's go and go here. Fire this door. Let's see if they can attack me. If I destroy their door. Yeah, let's go over here. Come at me, sons. I have the cover. You don't have the cover over here. Yeah. <laughs> let's see this one happen. Oh, this is going to be different. This is going to be way different. Trying to outrange me, some of them. But Steve is just shooting at this wall. Why would you be shooting at the wall, Steve? Let's go over here, Steve. Let's see if they're gonna. Yeah, this one's over here. Ah, they are out of range now, huh? No, they shouldn't be. Should be able to tackle them, Steve. As they come. Yeah, now you can. Oh, nice headshot. Nice headshot. There you go. Wait for them to come in line. Congo lining in here. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna make them come closer. <laughs> They're all the same. Every single one of them. They're just the same. Yeah. This is not gonna work well for you guys. I'm using your defense against you. There you go. Outpost destroyed. Let's actually go. Oh, yeah. That was fun. That was different and fun. Yeah, I like it. Gabby, no way you can escape. Well, maybe you can. I'm gonna give you that. Okay, let, let those people escape. We have destroyed your outpost, so I can go and claim your doors. And I can go out. Well, not outside, but inside. I claim this. So if I want to eat, I can eat. Uh, oh, you can't go around here. That's annoying. But I don't think that thing can shoot me. That's why this was actually a very good defensive spot. Let's go in here. You're connected... Oh, down here, this one. And you're also connected to battery. So, no real corners to cut there. You can have that meat if you want to, Steve. You can go in here as well. And in here as well if you want to. No, 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 just go here. Thank you. Claim that. Okay, nothing special here. Let's go back this way. Oh, that's a ton of guns. Lots of guns. Okay, this one you can have if you want to sleep. Now, yeah. uh, this is the beta poly. This is the alpha poly. Oh, is this just the steel one? No, this is also alpha poly. This one is the steel one. Yeah, we're going to destroy that one. Can you not see it here? One down? Yeah, that one should work. Okay, now if there's no batteries in here, destroying this power conduit should work on the turrets. Looks like there's batteries in here would appear so. Uh, let's actually go and fire this wall. Yeah, 
as I said, just the sort of battery that should be enough. Yep, those are both disconnected. Let's go. Yeah, more barrels. I don't think those barrels are gonna survive without batteries now. Now for this one, it's your range. I need to go over here. Let's go back here. And we're gonna start. Can I? Can't fire this battery. Can I? Yeah, I can. I think destroying this battery is gonna be a start, but we also need to go. Dude, don't go in range of that thing. I really would like that if I tell you to go somewhere, they wouldn't walk into the line of fire because he knows there's a line of fire over here. I'd rather he walks around. But oh well, let's go check what lies in here. There's probably gonna be another door to check. Nothing special. I would like them to have actually some clothing some at some point. Just because I can uh, move some of my clothing. Actually, let's go check if any of them are still alive. This one is. Strip Hoon. Maybe he has some gear for me. 80% pants? No. Never mind then. Yeah. You go relax socially. Go sleep if you need to, buddy. That's, that's completely fine. <laughs> that's completely fine. And then we're gonna travel again. We have more bases to hit, buddy. More bases to hit. And now, well, as the game, you know, crashed earlier. I don't like that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, Rosa's still here. I didn't even notice. Let's go, uh, actually strip. Don't capture, strip. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna go to the ship sooner rather than later. We're not gonna actually go and destroy everything I wanted to destroy. So you know what? Forswear this because it's better than your shirt. And forswear this pants because they're better than your pants. Yeah, let's go. Actually, they have some clothing over here. Who said they don't? That's all the clothing though. Okay. So yeah, we're not gonna go destroy everything. Yeah, that's the decision. We're not gonna destroy everything, but we're gonna destroy stuff again. So reform caravan. Let's see what we can take out of items. Uh, I think we have plenty of venison, so just take some of this. Yeah, except now what Steve's gonna do? There's no real interesting targets down here. We want to go up here where there's elder beings, right? But I don't want to go through here where we just cleared everything. So. You are just old man's cave. Let's go tackle old man old man's cave because it's in the way. So we're gonna go down here, follow this road, and then cut across up here, and then go up, up, up here, and then up there. So yeah, we're gonna clear that, and then then we'll see. Then we'll see. Depends how long this is actually gonna take, right? It depends. But I did say I wanna go up to ten episodes. Ah, oh, Steve is taking some time. 16 days to get there? Wow. That's a long time. Why is it such a long time? I mean, this is road. This shouldn't take so long. I mean, across this, it should take you like a day. Why is it gonna take 16 days to of traveling on the road to get there? I do not trust this. Why would you be so slow? Oh, because it's it's winter. It's snowy. Yeah, it must be. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be the terrain. Terrain is the problem. Uh, yeah, 19 hours movement time. Summer is 1.7. Yeah, that's it. Well, we're gonna spend uh, the, our summer time on this road. And that's a winter time on this road, that's fine. And then the summer is gonna take much faster. So all I can do now is just sit back, relax, and watch him slowly move onwards. Slowly but surely, as the game is actually kinda very laggy. And, oh boy. At least it's auto-saving, so if the game crashes again, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. <laughs> yeah. Well, I forgot about the movement speed during the the winter. Mm, like, look at the base movement time. 0 0.3 hours per tile. Yeah, but right now we are moving like current movement tile is 9 hours 
Pertal. Jesus. Even though we are on like a perfect road. So no wonder this is gonna take so long. It's already 6th of December, so it's just gonna take a couple of days. Probably it's gonna be faster than 12 because it's gonna take like 9 days till the winter is done. And after that, it should get faster. Kind of depends, I guess, how much snow is gonna stay. Why are you feeling... Dude. Stop because everyone has a mental break. <laughs> Oh boy, now, well, this is gonna take a bit longer, even. Apparently. At least he has food, like survival meals and pemmican. He's gonna use plenty, though. Maybe even his, uh, like, muscle. Oh, looks like muscle parasites went away. I think so. I can check here. Yeah, well, that's good. That's actually great. I like it. Okay, he's back on the road, attacking the old man's cave again. Let's go, son. It's taking you days. But this is like the fastest way to get away from being dazed. It's just stay on the world map where you don't have a home screen. And you're just gonna go whoop. The hours, they're ticking by so fast. The days are ticking by so fast right now. We might uh, finish the episode stuck on the screen still. But that's okay. That is okay. Uh, at least I can talk. So, right now, I wanted to say thank you everyone for the support in this series. Thank you one, everyone for the support on my other series. And I wish more of you would watch uh, our multiplayer stuff where I play with Nemo and sometimes with Zen as well. I wish more of you guys would go check that because it's different content than what I usually do. And you might get to see me from a different side because right now I'm just talking to myself. I'm looking at the screen and talking to myself and not doing anything, right? That's that's the usual what I do. And well, put in into like a social experiment with uh, two other people, or in the case of Factoria currently, just another person. It's different. It's way different. And uh, you might actually like it because it, there's more options for banter and stuff and uh, sometimes it's actually hilarious. Especially if you watched any of the videos from um, our Don't Starve series, Don't Starve Together. The ending, that was priceless. <laughs> Where Zen burned our whole base because he wanted to sleep in the tent and he accidentally burned the tent and then everything went up in flames. That was, that was just priceless. <laughs> it was lots of fun. And I really enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy watching our current Factorio series. Right now, um, me and Nemo recorded like 13 videos worth of uh, content on uh, Friday. You guys will get to see this one on like already Wednesday. And I'm recording this on during the weekend. Uh, but yeah, uh, we recorded like plenty. But if all goes well on Monday which would be two days ago for you right now. We should uh, meet up with Zen and continue recording that Factoria series with, with Zen also. So uh, that would then be much, much more fun. Because, you know, it's gonna be three of us, right? Let's see if this actually starts dropping now since uh, it's the last December. We spent our whole winter on this, on this road over here. Blow up. That was our whole winter. Oh well, totally forgot about this. Every disease frequency over here, huh? 1.3 per year. Oh, it's kind of crappy. Yeah, look like look at this. Current movement time is going down because it's first of April. May. Yeah, he's moving faster now. Yeah, 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 much faster. Good, good, good. Well, it looks like we might just get there before the end of the episode. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. You can see we're resting, but the estimated time to destination is still dropping, which is amazing. Yeah, we're moving much faster now. Jesus, <laughs> that was a that was a long winter up on this road, a long winter indeed. Yeah, over from here to here it took us like ten days, and now this walk is gonna take us two days, and it's the same road. Actually, this is worse road than the other one. So yeah. I'm gonna wait till we get there and then I can finish the episode. Peace talk opportunity. Where's that? It's here. 
Do you want to do this? Actually, let's do this. I want to see what happens. Is it pick peace talks? Let's go. Solar flares ended. Resting. Okay. I want to see what happens with the peace talks after he's done sleeping. Peace talk success. The talks were success. The delegates reached new mutual understanding on several substantial issues. Relationships with Federation of Something Something have improved by 67. Phobos, your negotiator has gained 66,000 social experience. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. Let's attack them. And uh, that shall be our end point. Alrighty then. After that lengthy, lengthy winter this is gonna be our next target for now thank you everyone for watching do hope you enjoyed if you did please consider dropping a comment down below share like subscribe and see more doing magic and i'll see you next time kick her out